until we start bringing things back, we're not able to really make space work for us the way that I'd like to see, where we are doing things that we can't do otherwise. Southern Launch is a range provider for the W3 mission. We've supported VADA to develop mission, created the safety template and worked with the Australian Space Agency to, to permit that. We've got a, a heritage, a rich heritage in, in launch operations already. So this is the second time we've worked with VADA. We, we obviously did the same thing for the W2 capsule, which was a pioneering event for Australian space. We've formed very strong relationships with regulators and we understand now how to work with them really closely. That's another key feature to our operations. We conduct our operations from the, the hangar facility. We draw a lot of our equipment for launch operations in the hangar, but also it provides the space for customers to actually conduct their operations in as well. About 20 minutes from separation. Everything's looking good so far. So after M3 burn, we'll see one more pass, and then uh, that will be our determination of whether or not we're ready for separation or if we'll need a cleanup burn. Um, if all things look nominal, we'll be ready. Okay, potential southern watch operators, we will now be doing an internal go no go form based on our previous confirmations. Go. Copy that. We are a go. Location, just a little bit south of that. Uh, it looks like, and kind of zooming in, it looks like it's on a, a bit of a ridge line. Maybe it's some brush, and it's about 107 kilometers from uh, Crimson Duna. Flying out, not really being totally sure what you're going to see uh, when you come up on the capsule, see like, you know, what, what you have to deal with, what, what kind of problems you have to solve once you're on the ground. So for Varda, the most important thing right now for us is cadence, being able to do this as much as possible. So trying to figure out ways to continue to make it smoother. Working with Southern Launch has really been a great opportunity for us. I think we're both trying to make the same thing happen with private space. If we can start making it a regular occurrence to bring things back from space, we can really create whole industries that benefit people on Earth and really make space work for us here. And now we really want to optimize that process and make sure that we can do this really routinely with as, as little friction as possible in the permitting space and in the actual logistical operation.